Hello students, today we will learn about the parts of a flower. All living things produce more of their own kind by the process of reproduction. Plants too, like all other living things, reproduce. We know that flowers and fruits are parts of a plant. Flowers develop into fruits. Fruits have seeds, which give rise to new plants. Flowers are therefore, the reproductive parts of a plant. Let us understand more about flowers and their parts. We see a variety of flowers around us. A typical flower has four main parts. Sepals, petals, stamens and the carpel. Look at this flower. Sepals. Sepals are the outermost parts of a flower. They are mostly green and leaf-like. Sepals protect the inner parts of a flower before it blooms. Petals Petals are either colored or white and are seen only when the flower blooms. They usually attract insects. Stamens Stamens form the male reproductive parts of a flower. Each stamen consists of a long, narrow filament with an anther at its tip. Anthers produce pollen grains, which contain the male cells. Pollen grains appear as a powdery material on the anthers. Carpel The carpel is the female reproductive part of the flower. It is made up of stigma, style and ovary. The style is a long, narrow tube that rises from the basal, swollen part called the ovary. The tip of the style is called the stigma. The ovary contains one or more ovules. Ovules contain the female cells, also known as egg cells. Receptacle is the swollen base of a flower which holds the different parts of the flower. See you soon with another topic. Till then, bye-bye.